All right, today we're going to talk about using a bed shaper. And uh, as you can tell from the field out here, we've already done most of the field here and we've shaped the bed into three foot wide beds. There's 24 of them in a half acre field. So basically, we're going to show you how to make these beds so that you can plant in them. We're just using an old international cub that we found in the barn. It can, you can use a bed shaper with just about any tractor you want. I would recommend that you use probably something around 25 to 30 horsepower. Uh, maybe something newer like a new Kubota or John Deere. But you can use something as old as this, the 8 in Ford or anything like that. Let me show you the actual shaper. These discs right here, you just drag them along and you can adjust them to whatever widths that you want to. I try to adjust them to where the inside right here is at the same width as my tires so that I'm making a bed that is exactly as wide as my tractor is. If you had a slightly bigger tractor, like a like a newer compact tractor, you might have it a little bit wider. I think that a lot of them on the inside tire are 60 inches. This isn't quite 60 inches. You might have a bigger tractor. Um, if you have a bigger tractor with a wider width, you just move them out and you can make bigger beds and, and smaller beds. Um, but definitely make the beds to the size of the tractor that you have. Um, don't use one width of a tractor and then plan on using a different tractor for the rest of it because nothing will fit right as far as when you're cultivating or when you're planting or when you're shaping the beds again. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use this and what it does and uh, we'll go from there. This is what we've done with the bed shaper. Um, you may have to make several passes to get your bed shaped the way that you want it to. On all of these beds, I made two passes each time, so one trip down and one trip back for every bed that I made. And uh, now we're doing this in the fall, and we're going to plant a cover crop on top of it, but you don't necessarily have to do it in the fall. You can do this in the spring, right before you're ready to plant. Basically, plow up whatever field you're going to do, and then get out there and shape your beds, and then plant right in them and then uh, we'll, in another installment, show you how to plan in them and set up the irrigation. So, there you go.